just nerve wracking. Like there's 20 people, you've never met them, like read out your work that you've just written. Like it's not good or anything. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Leora Eileen and I make videos here about reading, writing and sometimes other things as well. Who is she? Because today I'm back with another writing vlog. Oh my god, can you believe it? There's one point where you don't get any writing vlogs and now you get two relatively close to each other crazy times. I'm currently working on a book of essays and I'm not having a great time right now. I'm just having one of those days where I'm like, this is literally going nowhere. That book is never going to be finished because, oh my god, I've been working on this for so long. And to be fair, when I just started, I didn't even know I wanted it to be like a full book. I was like, I'll just look at these essays I've already written, I'll make them better, and then I'll make like a little chapbook and publish it myself. But then along the way, I was like, what if I just write like an actual book? Well, what if I do the whole thing? So then I started wanting to do that. And I just kept on writing new essays and, you know, lots of the old essays got feedback and then sometimes they were rewritten and finished, but lots of the times they were just left there to die. <laughs> and now I'm just at this point where I'm like, I feel like I'm getting nowhere. I just, I want to get a first draft this year and I don't know if I can do it because like that feels overly ambitious and I don't feel like it's possible at all and I feel like I should stop writing forever. I don't know, I'm just having a mood. <laughs> I'm having a mood. I don't know if all writers have these moods but I definitely go through moods. Either way, there's a few essays that I've recently finished up the first draft of. So right now, if I go to my first draft folder, there's three essays in it. And I think I have at least like 10 essays. So I've just been rewriting one of the first essays that I uh, started with in my writing group. I've been at it for an hour, I think. And it's difficult because this is something that I wrote three years ago. So I think I would write it so differently if I were to write it now. But my plan is not to write all these essays anew. It's to just rewrite them, to finish them, so they're at least done. I don't know. Oh, it's all such a mess. I, it feels like a mess. <laughs> so it's an essay about friendship and it's basically just a really very quiet long detailing of all my friendships from like when I was a child to high school to now. And I think the general idea was like to say something about how you make friends as a child than how you make friends as an adult. So I've renamed it as well. Um, it used to just be called Friendship. But now it's called calling the dead and talking to strangers <laughs> because that's two things that I do in this and not in the psychic kind of way. So I've tried to finish this. So there's kind of a first draft of this as well. So that would make four essays and at least 15,000 words, I think, which is like not enough, I know, but like maybe we are getting somewhere. But it's kind of difficult because I'm like, yes, I don't, I'm not sure if I think this essay is good enough. Because when I wrote it, it was pretty good for what I was writing at the time. But now I'm like, I'm a whole different writer. And I feel like I'm, I w I'm just taking too long to write this whole thing. And this is going to keep happening. Because there's at least like three essays in my peripheral vision that I'm ignoring. Because I'm like, I don't know how to continue working on them. There's one about my questionable sexuality that I'm like still struggling with. So I'm like, I don't even know how to write about that. Then there's one about being a maker and creating things and being an artist. And I think maybe that's what I want to work on this weekend because I'm like, I feel like that's maybe doable. Then there's one about like being bossy and a control freak, but that also kind of has some points with the other one. I'm, I'm really selling myself here. Like I'm a control freak. I don't know my sexuality. <laughs> anyway, I'm really pleased that I did some writing today. I wrote for at least an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. So, you know. I just want to write more this year because I don't write as much as I want to and I want to finally get a first draft and maybe get another one of my pieces published. I'd love to publish something in English as well. I recently wrote a piece on the seasons in English that I'm quite proud of so I still need to find like places to publish it to send it into. So maybe that's also something for the to-do list for this week's writing vlog. I don't know. Right now I think I'm going to call it a quits because I'm so tired and like nothing is getting out of me and then Maybe this weekend I can make an outline for the essay about being a creator and then it'll be easier to write it, I think. I don't know, there's an essay there, but it's, everybody was like, you should just write this anew. I don't think, I mean, that's not what they said, but that's how I feel right now. So it's time to do some relaxing and let this go. <laughs>
Hi, so I've done some more writing today. I mostly worked on my outline. Like I said yesterday, I'm kind of getting stuck with it. So <laughs> that's very annoying. I did start using a new brainstorming tool to help me brainstorm my outline and potentially like make it a better outline and work on it in a different program. And that program is also the sponsor of today's video. So let's hear it from sponsor Leo who's talking about Scrintle. Today's video is kindly being sponsored by Scrintle. Many people like me struggle to visualize their ideas and thoughts and the connection between those. And this is where Scrintle comes in. Scrintle is a web app that combines the power of networked note taking with mind mapping. Scrintle can be used as a visual notebook for many different things like brainstorming, managing different projects, planning your writing like I'm doing in this writing vlog. Scrintle can solve real world challenges helping you stay in the flow, be more creative and be more organized. So I use the app to brainstorm and plan out my current essay that I'm stuck on. If you don't know where to start they also do have a lot of wonderful templates but I decided to use an empty brainstorming board so I could customize everything and make a structure to write my essay to. The bi-directional connections and colors really help me stay on top of everything that's happening and I can build a structure and then make different tabs to the feedback of my writing group and the feedback of the writing teacher and then when I zoom out I have a really good overview of what's happening and where I'm at. Scrintle is great for students, working professionals, writers and small business owners like myself but I personally think some additional help in organizing and getting an overview is always good for anybody out there. Scrintle offers a lifetime pro plan and also a personal pro plan and with my code Leora10 you get 10% off of the personal pro plan. The link is in my description if you would like to check out Scrintle for yourself and it is valid for four weeks after this video goes live. So check out the description and let's get organized. Thank you so much again to Scrintle for sponsoring this video and enabling me to keep creating content on here and also helping me out with that essay because genuinely this has helped my brainstorming and structuring process. Now let's get back to writing. So it's definitely been helpful to me trying to use a new tool and see how that works and how that influences my writing. So I wanna keep working on brainstorming my outline and I just think if I have the outline, I can rewrite the piece again and I just, Oh, I'm so over rewriting. It's just so much more exciting when you write something for the first time and you like love it. But then the rewrites, the rewrites are killing me. They're making me want to quit the whole book. <laughs> Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to a writing course, which is all about witches and writing witchy stories. So I'm super excited about that because I think that might be a good switcheroo from my book and the things I'm working on and just to have some fun with it. So I'm very much looking forward to that. But first tonight I'm going out for dinner with some friends and I'm also going to a writing performance from my writing school. So lots of writing activities. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. today I'm going to the witchy writing course so of course I had to put on my witchy skirt I didn't want it to be too witchy because I didn't want the people to think like oh my god is she cosplaying as a witch so <laughs> kind of kept it um low-key or well this is low-key for me so like don't come for me <laughs> So yesterday was our end of the writing season live on stage performance that my writing school always organizes. It's like one person from every class and workshop gets to perform some of their writing. So that's always very exciting. I don't go to every semester's live on stage, 
but usually when like friends of mine are performing or somebody that I'm closer with in my class, I tend to go. So this night two of my friends were performing, so it was really exciting to see them on stage. I filmed Leo like a proud mother. I was like stood there with the camera, you know, I was like capturing it. I was very proud. It's always so nice to see the people around you grow as well. So I just, I love that. And it was very exciting to see them perform their writing. And I think for Leonie, it was the first time I actually heard her writing. Like I'd heard her talk about her writing, but this is the first semester she's joined the writing school I go to as well. So that was very exciting. I've said the word exciting five times. <laughs> this is a big weekend for writing because like I said before, I'm going to a witchy writing course this afternoon. I'm so excited. So this is also taking place at my writing school and it's like a one day course. So that's where I'm heading right now. So that's what the outfit is for. The course is being led by Jens Postuma and it's all about the witch in stories and how witches are being portrayed in stories. There's also some folklore in there I think we're gonna learn something about like pagan folklore and stuff like that some European history and mostly how the witch is represented in literature throughout the ages and I know Yenta Postuma also wrote a book about witches a book I still have to read so I have to head out in just a little bit for that course and I think this will be a perfect break for me because like you saw earlier I was kind of getting stuck in my current writing projects getting stuck with my essays so I think it will be really nice to take a little trip out of that and write something completely different so we'll We'll see what I'll end up writing today. I have no clue. It's been a really long time since I've done a separate one day course. So we're gonna see how that goes. Oh, it's kind of nerve wracking because there'll be a bunch of people there that I've never met before. Well, maybe there'll be some people I know, but I don't know who was selected to follow the course. So I have no idea who else is gonna be there. I think I'm going to bring my writing pad rather than my laptop because they don't care what you do, like as long as you can write. And I think it might be nice to have not like the typing, but just to have something to write on. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll do it the old school way. Well, I'm not gonna bring my typewriter because that would be, I don't know, that would that would feel a little bit pretentious. <laughs> also, I haven't written on my typewriter in forever because the ribbon needs changing and it's needed changing for many a years now. I do need to pick a new read as well for my way over there. So I'm kind of looking at my shelves right now, what I'm in the mood for. I'm nervous but I'm hyped and we'll see how the witchy writing course goes. I'm not sure whether I'll be filming when I'm there because like it's a whole class of people I've never met. So that might be a bit weird, but we'll see and I'll keep you guys updated on my writing journey. <laughs> really get any footage at the writing course because like I said before it was a bit too awkward and I didn't want to ask them if I could film but on my way there I noticed it was Chinese New Year so there were lots of festivities in the streets and everybody was so happy so I filmed a few little clips there I saw these beautiful ribbons and there were people dancing and a little market that I really wanted to go to but I had to go to my writing course which was also really good which I'll tell you about in a little bit Hi everybody, oh my god, that writing course was so inspiring. I literally still feel like inspired to the brim, like I should go write right this second because I'm just like sizzling with ideas and inspiration. I didn't really film anything at the writing course because you know, I don't know any of those people. It's the first time I'm meeting all of them. There's like this teacher who's published three books, which is so cool and like I don't want to be like hey let me film my vlog <laughs> you know for writing group that's the same people over and over so I know them by now so I can just ask like hey is it okay if I film a little bit um if you don't want to be in the footage let me know it's all good but like for those people that I don't know it's too awkward so I didn't want to do that I did do some writing there in my little notebook and I actually forgot how nice it is to write in a notebook compared to like writing on your laptop and how refreshing it is to like change that out every now and then and it's definitely very helpful. Like I told you guys before, it was a witchy writing course and the author of the book, Witch Witch Witch, Jens Postuma, the book is published in Dutch, so it's called Hex Hex Hex, talked a little bit to us about history and the book that she's written about witchy sagas of Dutch origin. It was very interesting, like European folklore-esque, but she mostly talked about being burned at the stake and how that fear still perpetrates through our society and how it has 
made women less likely to come together in groups because that used to be suspicious and how that still sort of works through in our society. It was really, really interesting. And then she gave us two writing exercises that we did in class and then a few of us got to read our work out loud. I also read my work. It was nerve wracking. Like there's 20 people, you've never met them, like read out your work that you've just written. Like it's not good or anything. So that was scary, but I did it. So I'm very proud of myself. So the first exercise was to write about what you would have been burned at the stake for. <laughs> that made me giggle a little bit, even though it's obviously a serious subject. So I wrote down like my love for velvet dresses, having red hair, being confident, talking too loudly, laughing too loudly, having opinions. So stuff like that. And then we did a little writing exercise off of that. And then the other exercise that we did is we had to write something that was truthful to us. And I'm actually really proud of the piece I've written for this. So I think I'm going to type it out right now and like maybe work on it some more because I have a little, I have like 30 minutes right now before I want to end my work day because I'm kind of tired. I did write quite the piece and I read it in class and I got a lot of compliments on it actually. So that was really, really exciting. It's been so long since I've written fiction as opposed to like my auto fiction essays that I'm writing. So this is so exciting. My camera battery is dying. So I'll come back to you guys later and tell you more about this piece that I've written. Right now I'm gonna type it out and I'll get back to you. So I wrote out my story yesterday. It was really nice to have that change of pace and write down what I'd written in the writing course. It's kind of underwhelming though to see it written out. It was like 400 words and you feel so productive, but then you type it out and you're like, oh, that's not as much as I thought it was. <laughs> but at least I feel like I got loose a little bit again and maybe next time when I get back to the essay, it'll be better and I'm able to work it out more. And I think also my outlining and structuring has definitely helped me along. So fingers crossed, I get to work out this essay in the upcoming months because I just want to feel like I'm on top of things again. There were a few things that I learned in my writing course that I'd love to share with you guys because I just thought it was so inspiring and I'm pretty sure it will inspire you too. If you're not sick and tired of this vlog that is filled with so much talking yet, then sit down because I have some more talking to do. So what I really loved about what Yenta told us is that she does a fear document and maybe this is really well known maybe loads of writers do this and just like nobody has informed me of it <laughs> i don't know but she basically writes down every insecurity she has whilst writing so every time she's like writing and she's like oh my god i'm so stupid why do i do this she like has a separate fear document and she puts it in there or like every time she's like who the hell do I think I am to be writing this? She's like, okay, that's for the fear document. And that's like how she sort of keeps herself on track and allows room for her insecurities, like emotions while still keeping on with the writing. And I thought that was so inspiring, like such a good idea. And the thing I also love about that is that you can be a writer with three published novels that is doing so well and still have these fears in your mind. That's That feels kind of inspiring because if she has the fears, but she's still doing everything, then I should be able to do it, even though I feel like I'm getting nowhere. Great idea. And then I wanted to tell you guys about my piece that I wrote. So she wanted us to write something truthful for the second exercise. And I started thinking about lying and like telling the truth. And as a child, I was taught very often, I'm not allowed to lie because I, you know, I love to tell some interesting things that didn't happen exactly the way I said. Sometimes I said straight up ludicrous things to see how people would react. I also really enjoyed just telling like fantasy stories and seeing how people would interact with it and if they would enjoy it. And I, I think I just really like to tell stories, but like nobody ever taught me like what is the line between 
the truth and a lie and like what is storytelling and like how does that all come together and as a child especially as a young child this is something that's not extremely clear from the get-go so in my story is a scene set at a lake where one girl tells another girl she can breathe underwater and she tries to convince the other girl that that's happening but it's it's not happening and at the end she sort of uncovers her lie and I try to make it really dreamy and hazy and like with this sort of summer vibe but a tinge of nostalgia and sadness to it and like a little fantasy element and I actually got a lot of good feedback like I said in the previous clip from reading that in class so that was exhilarating. I don't know if that piece of writing is going to find like a home in one of my short stories but at least I was happy to get back to writing instead of being stuck on the essay. Thank you guys all so much for watching this writing vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Kind of struggle with like what to put in my writing vlogs because oh my bow is leaving me. <laughs> Sad. It's just going down further and further. I just feel like the writing vlogs can be really boring because unlike in the reading vlogs where I'm also showing my life and doing a lot of things, I'm not sure if this is like entertaining, but I hope it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and inspired you in your writing. Let me know what you're working on. And yeah, let's hope I ever finish my book. Yay. Have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.